G'day, uh, Phil here again. And what I'm going to show you here is in the previous video, which was a bit lengthy, uh, was how to obtain a, a commercial MIDI file for a song that we're working on in class, how to make a simple backing track from that. But um, I didn't cover how do you uh, change the key if it's not in the key that you want to work in. All right, so here's the MP3 that, well, first of all, we need to open a new empty project. This time we're going to choose an audio track. It doesn't really matter because we're going to drag that MP3 file we made. You can see that my microphone's working in uh, GarageBand there. You could drag it into there or an empty space and it'll create an audio track. But make sure you drag it right up to bar one. Okay, uh, pull this out again. And, oh, by the way, Turn these purpley things off because that tempo is not going to match this tempo. Okay, now if I go over here to my piano. Okay, uh, for Johnny Farnham's voice it's in F sharp major. But that's not going to be a very easy key for my stage 5 music class to, um, to play in. Alright, so we just take it up a smidgen, up a semitone. It's in G major, and also my string ensemble can uh, play some parts with it as well, and uh, we can add those in. So um, I hope uh, if you're a musician, you're watching this, and you know what I'm talking about with transposing or changing the key. All right. So what I've done, I've taken the MP3 file that we created from the last video, drag it into here, and that's our basic backing track with the two bars drum beat introduction. Okay. And what we're going to do is now we click on, see over here, this scissors uh, sign over here. Okay. And it pulls up this um, editing feature here. Now what we want is we want to edit the region. That means that whole, the whole um, of that track lights up. And see this bar here. See when I move my mouse there it turns into that and we drag this up and there's our transpose. Okay now if we move it up okay so we've got to click that follow tempo and pitch and we move it up one each one of these increments is a semitone or a half step on the piano. All right now, if you're a musician, you should understand what I'm talking about there. And we want to go from F sharp major to G major. So you could you could go up, you know, uh, nine semitones. Twelve semitones is an octave. Okay, we don't want an octave higher. We're going to make it one semitone higher into G major. Okay, so let's have a listen to this. Perfect, we're up a semitone higher. So we do this again, we go share, export song to disk. So it's going to churn it out as an MP3. We don't want these ones, we want MP3. Um, going to put that into my Dropbox. And I'm just going to start typing up here. And that's going to, uh, see, I'm going to shorten it into TTPD, take the pressure down. Uh, and I'm going to type in G major. Okay, that's because I'm a little bit lazy and I want to type in take the pressure down. You could. But make sure you type in the key it's now in g major okay and export and that's going to be about five megabytes and uh job done okay so you know depending on what song you're working with you can put your backing track into whatever key uh, you like there right 